Welcome to another Alice tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to implement a walking animation for our chicken who's positioned in a farmyard here. So let's go over to our chicken and we'll create a new method and we'll call it walk. And we want this walk method to take two parameters. One is the distance that we want to travel and the second is the time that it should take to travel that distance. The first thing we're going to do is work out the distance or the length of each step. And we're going to do that by using a bit of trigonometry. So we'll create a new variable and we'll call it step distance or step length. Drag that down into here. Set it to a default value. And we're going to need to go into our chicken. We'll pick one of its legs, doesn't matter which leg we choose. Firstly calculate the height of the leg. And then we're going to, as I said, using some trigonometry, we're going to then multiply that by sine of pi, or 2 pi, divided by 10. So representing one, one tenth of a revolution. So multiply. And again, we'll put a default value in, go up to the world class and select our sign function. And then we're going to change that to 0.628, which is our approximation of 2 pi. So that represents the distance travelled when the chicken moves one leg forward by 10% of revolution. Right, the next variable we need to then create is the number of steps. So the number of steps, we'll set that to our distance divided by the step length. So divide by the step length. And then finally, our third variable that we need to create is called step time. So the time taken for each individual step. And that is then going to equal our overall time. And then we're going to divide that by the number of steps. OK, so that gives us the distance travelled after each step, the number of steps we need to do, and the time taken for each step. So what we're going to do now is use a loop. And let's just put in 10 now, and we'll come back to this, this value a bit later. Within that, we want a do in order, and a series of do togethers. So in the first do together, we want to move the left leg forward. One step. Okay, so we'll go over to here, go to our methods. So to do that we need to turn the leg forward by point 0.1 of a revolution. And the time taken for that is going to be the step time. And similarly, we want to then at the same time turn the right leg backwards and again it's going to be 0.1 of a revolution and the duration again will be step time and finally while we're doing that we're also moving the chicken forward Oops, we want the entire chicken obviously this time so move chicken forward and this is going to be the distance moved as we do one step and again the duration to be consistent needs to be uh, step time. Okay so that represents the left leg moving moving forward or bending turning forward point one of revolution and the chicken moving forward one step. So to complete that we need to make three additional copies of this. So in this one we're moving the leg backwards and that one then goes forward and again this is going to be moving forward step length and we need to again change all of these also to step time. 
So duration, step time, and same with this one, duration of step time. I'll make two more copies of these. Right, so the third step we can do the same as what we did previously. Again, change those to step time. And that's step length. And that will be step time. And then finally, we need to change these, reverse the order of these. So that's a backwards, that's a forward, that becomes a backwards. And again, fill all of these in with step time. step length and again step time okay let's just quickly play that see what it does ah of course we need to call that within our, our method so let's do that within my first method walk and we'll walk forward two meters in one second And at this stage we haven't quite got there. What we actually need to do is change this to number of steps. But notice here within this loop we're actually performing two, uh, four steps. So rather than just number of steps here, we need number of steps divided by four. Choose that. In that case we move forward two meters. Let's change that to, say, 6 metres, and change the time to 3 seconds. And again, we run that. And we should see, in this case, we're actually moving ahead a further distance. So all good. Okay, I'll wrap that one up now, and we'll continue on with this in another tutorial.